So we've had a lot of questions asked about metabolic health. What is metabolic health and where does it come from and what can you do about it? And I am happy to be speaking to one of the world's <laughs> experts in metabolic oh, health. Oh, I don't know so, about that. <laughs> no, I do know about that. So you've written many books, you've studied tens of thousands of patients and you yes. are an expert. So tell us, what is metabolic health? Well, you know, here's the bad news, Jeff. Uh, only 12% of Americans are metabolically healthy, which means 88% are not. And what does that mean? Well, poor metabolic health in that context is defined as having high blood sugar, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure. All these three things are indirect measurements of your overall poor health. It's primarily driven by our poor diet. And it drives the accumulation of belly fat or visceral fat that is not just there holding up your pants as my colleague and friend Sid Baker said, it's active, it's dynamic, it's producing all kinds of molecules that are good or bad depending on what you're eating. So if you have visceral fat that comes from eating all the starch and sugar and processed food in your diet, you're generating many inflammatory chemicals, many hormones that cause your appetite to go up and your metabolism to slow down and it creates this whole cascade of problems that we're seeing and the end result as heart disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's. These are all metabolic diseases and signs of poor metabolic health. So let me give one example, of, of which are many, of things that are limited in the standard American diet, the SAD diet, which can be put back in to some extent with the appropriate formulation. Mm -hmm. So that's omega-3 fatty acids. Yes. And there are many different forms of omega-3 fatty acids. We're pleased uh, in the Big World Health Omega-3s that we have both the EPA, DHA, DPA, plus we have some vitamin A, vitamin D, and we also have these pro-resolving mediators, all of which are part of the protection against metabolic dysfunction. That's right. So, so Jeff, you just said a mouthful there, but basically there's a lot of compounds in there. The fish oil that's in regular fish oil is there, but this is a special kind of fish oil because it contains compounds that are often lost in the processing of regular fish oil called pro-resolving mediators. And what they do is they resolve inflammation in the body. It's your body's own break on the immune system. And they are needed because we are living in an inflammatory world and culture. And so that's what's so beautiful about this. It's not just an average fish oil. It's like a pretty unique product. Yeah, these fish uh, from which this oil is derived were caught on hook and line. Uh, they're from 20 minutes of being a live fish. They're mm. uh, processed. And they ultimately then uh, end up uh, flash frozen at uh, minus 10 degrees. And this process never uses chemicals or anything in heat to uh, eventually produce what we consider probably the purest uh, Dutch Harbor, Alaska, Bering Sea, and Gulf of Alaska fish oil. I mean, this, this is the one I use because it just gets you all the benefits of regular fish oil, but also gets you these extra benefits. And what's amazing about it, it doesn't taste bad and smell bad. I don't know how you did it, Jeff, but it tastes and smells pretty good. Well, let me, let me tell you, this was for me a revelation. So uh, we built this pharmaceutical grape plant in Dutch Harbor to produce this oil. And we were waiting on bated breath for the first oil to start coming out the spigot to see what it would be like, because we you know, had all the stuff we constructed to do this. And one of my colleagues said, we had to get cocktail glasses so we can drink this oil when it comes out in the appropriate uh, you know, receptacle. I thought, well, that's a little, I don't know. <laughs> well, and, and so we're all standing A little shot there. glass of yeah, fish oil. We're standing there with our cocktail glasses, and here comes the first oil out, and it is colorless. It's odorless, and then we taste it, and there's no fishy taste. And now I recognize that the color and the odor and the taste are byproducts of the damage to the oil yeah. that occurs through putrefaction and oxidation and things. So mm. a real clean fish oil doesn't have those adverse. That's amazing. It really is.